Hey everyone and welcome to another one of one server's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to open your Windows ports for your game server in just three easy steps. I know port management sounds complicated, let's break down what a port actually is. So your game server is a party that you're hosting at your house and you want people to show up, right? The only way to get to your party is to get to your house and walk through the front door. Players will arrive at your house by using your home address, the server IP, and enter through the door, the port. If you lock your door, they won't be able to join your party. We need to unlock the front door so they can come in. Without opening the correct ports or unlocking the right door, your game server is stuck in a virtual no entry zone and no one can join your party. Now that that's cleared up, let's get those ports open. If you are hosting your game server within a VPS or a dedicated server, make sure you are following along within your remote desktop. Step one, open Windows Firewall. Your Windows Firewall is your virtual security guard that protects your party from malicious actors, so basically the security guard at your front door. We want to tell security that it's okay for people to come to our house and enter the party. So first, go to the Windows search tool on your taskbar and search for Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security, then open it up. Step two, inbound rules. In the panel, you will see on the left side, inbound rules, outbound rules, connecting security rules, and monitoring. We are only going to focus on inbound rules because our goal is to have them come inbound to your party. Click on inbound rules. Step three, creating inbound rules. If you see on the right side of the panel, new options have appeared. We are going to click new rule to open our ports. Rules are basically the instructions that inform your security of what traffic is or isn't allowed through the port. Kind of like a bouncer at a party, say you are hosting a red shirt party, you tell your bouncer that everyone with red shirts are allowed in, but any other color needs to go. Let's click on new rule. You're going to see these options. We are only going to worry about port for your game server ports. Click next. The new panel is gonna ask if you want the rule applied to the port to be TCP or UDP. Think of TCP as the federal mail service. They need your signature for you to accept a package. It's secure, still fast, but it dots the I's and crosses the T's. Emails and web browsers primarily use TCP to make sure everything arrives in order with no missing parts to the right user. UDP is similar, but it's like Amazon delivery, where they look for your address, but they don't care who directly receives the package. It's a quicker service, but it's not as secure as your typical federal post. Online video games and live streaming services use UDP because speed matters more than making sure every tiny bit of data arrives perfectly. You can find your game's port requirements for hosting a server in their game files or documentation. Here are some popular games and their designated ports for server hosting. In this video, I will show you how to open the ports for a 5M server. It would be a similar process for a Minecraft server or any other game. Just grab the correct ports and their rules. Select TCP, enter 30120 in the specific local ports box, then click Next. Select Allow the Connection. The stricter the rules, the more problems you may encounter. Your security guard might see someone's red shirt as orange and block them from coming to your party. We don't want to block good traffic. Click Next. Keep all these checkmarked. Not all your players are coming from a private network or public or domain. You might get a mixture. Some people are arriving to your party by bus, car, bike, or just walking. That doesn't mean their shirt isn't red. Click next. Finally, we just need to give the rule a name so we know what it is within our firewall rules list. For this 5M30120 TCP port, I'm just gonna keep it simple and name it 30120 TCP. Click finish. You can see it populated here and you can use the dropdown to manage it in the future. We have opened one port, but we still have more to go. Click new rule on the top right again, this time select UDP. Enter 30120, allow the connection, click next. Keep all of these checked and click next. Then name the rule 30120 UDP and click finish. It will be populated in the list with your other 30120 TCP rule. One more to go. Click new rule, but this time select TCP and enter 40120. Allow the connection, click next. Keep these all checked and click next. Then name the rule txadmin 40120 and click finish. Congratulations, you are now ready for people to fly in and join the party. Happy hosting. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more content just like this. 
If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel welcome to put them in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks again and see you next time.